control the crane, all right. Hey, we're back in this fucking kitchen. That's pretty fucking cool, all right. You know what? It's nighttime, as you can see behind me. And you know what that means? It's time for a midnight snack. We're gonna make some fucking toasties, all right. It's Green's Kitchen. You and stupid fucking shit that you're the green, yeah. I know what you're thinking. But Green, what the fuck is it toasted? Uh, well, I'll tell you what. You see all this stuff we got here? Uh, yeah, you can see it right there. We got the onion, all right? That's for flavor. A little garlic. I like to put some garlic in there. Not everybody does that, but I like to do it because it's delicious. You ever had garlic? It's fucking great. Um, and then, yeah, lots of cheese, lots of cheese, some bread, and uh, I got two different kinds. I got the white bread, and I got the, uh, the uh, you know, the wheat bread, I guess it's called. Um, I like this stuff. It has a little more flavor to it. I never really understood why people like the white bread because to me it's like, uh, you know, like why do I want my bread to not only be less flavorful but also less good for me? I don't know. People like it. I don't know why. Uh, and then you know, it's you got this like a sandwich, electric sandwich press. That's gonna come in real handy. It's real important to have that. Because it's kind of like a grilled cheese panini type of thing. But there's more to it than that. But not really. And anyway. It's not like you're trying to fucking make a big ass nice dinner thing here. This is for like a nighttime snack. Where you're fucking drunk and starving. Or maybe you just didn't feel like cooking a real dinner. So you're going to eat like an asshole. Alright. Now the first thing you want to do of course is chop up this fucking onion. And uh, you know like uh, people got the different methods. Of... Oh sorry. I bumped into you there. Anyway, people got the different methods of how to do that. I like to do it nice and quick. Um, you don't need this much onion. <laughs> I know lots of chefs would probably be like, dude, you're going to cut yourself. I don't care. Just fucking get it done, you know? Like, uh, throw that shit around a little bit. Why not? And then uh, there's your onions. You're good to go. And then you want to, like, take this garlic clove. Where is your camera here? Oh, yeah. It's right there. It's right there. You got your garlic clove here, and you want to uh, break that open so it's ready to chop up in there. So you just go like that, and then take all the fucking uh, peels off and stuff. Yeah, like that. And then, uh, you know, go to town. You don't gotta be too fancy with it. Just, uh, you know, get it into pieces so it's ready to fucking put in the thing. Now the other thing you gotta do put butter on your bread. That's real important because this stuff it needs a lot of like uh, I don't know butter and cheese. Butter and cheese are two very delicious things and this sandwich is going to have a lot of those on it. Um, so I encourage you to get plenty of butter. This is more like uh, what do they call that stuff? It's like fake ass butter. That, uh, people say they got put plastic in it. I don't think that's really true because that would probably kill you or at least give you cancer, which would also kill you. Um, and I know, you know, like everybody, I trust the like FDA and stuff real good. So they would never let anything like that happen, right? Right. All right. Now, you want to get your sandwich maker nice and hot. Uh, hopefully you let it uh, heat up a little bit before you put the bread on there. Let's well, put the fucking bread on there and then let it heat up. It don't really fucking matter. It's super easy to make this shit. Did I say that before? All right. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, you want to get your, you know, make sure you got power in this house. Who knows if these people paid their fucking electric bill, you know. But, uh, yeah, it, it should be fine uh, to plug it in and put the bread on there, which we're going to do right now. You put one piece here. And we're going to make, you know... One piece is going to be like uh, the fucking, you know, wheat bread. And then that's the white bread. All right? It's going to taste real good. So you got those on there. And then you want to put on the cheese. So uh, you just want to fucking douse it with this shit, you know? Like fucking spread it all around. Why not? You know, it's delicious cheese. And some people will tell you. Uh, the best way to keep your sandwich maker 
uh, you know, clean <laughs> is to uh, put foil down uh, before you start cooking. And I will tell you, that's a good idea, kind of, to make it clean, but it kind of, like, makes the sandwich not so uh, toasty. It kind of keeps it, like, a little, I don't know, moist. Ooh, that sounds like a gross-ass sandwich to me. So I say, just deal with the fucking mess. I'll show you how to clean it at the end of this. All right? All right. Then you put on the onions. Just fucking go to town on that shit. Here's the garlic. All right. And then you want another coat of the fucking cheese. I'm almost out of cheese, so I gotta find some other shit. Ah! All right. I got plenty of more cheese right here. It's gonna be in uh, slice form, which is different from the other stuff, but I think it's gonna taste real good. And ultimately, it don't matter. You just use whatever cheese you got. Right now, this is the cheese I got. It's going to be delicious. All right. So just like, uh, you know, like kind of put some more cheese on top of there. That's pretty good, you know. Like, uh, that's working out real good, I think. You know, just don't be too fancy. Like, this is just a nighttime snack when you're, uh, you know, drunk and whatever. And uh, put it on there real good. Make sure you line up the bread so, like, if you're making a sandwich for somebody else and they specifically want wheat bread or white bread, which that one's going to be, uh, you don't, like, mix it up and give them, like, one of each. All right. Now, once those are around there, uh, you're good to go. Just lower it down. And, like, the direction to this thing, they're going to tell you, like, don't squish it too much. But I say, fuck that. Squish the hell out of it. Yeah. Make sure that fucking gets in there real good. And they're going. Yeah, and I guess this uh, light is telling me that it's done. No, it just turned off. So I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, but, you know, like, uh, wait till it's done. And in the meantime, uh, you know, fucking find something to drink. Oh, yeah. I found this wine. That's going to be real delicious. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. I kind of expected it to be shitty wine from looking at these people's apartment. But, you know, it's pretty good, I got to say. So, uh, anyway, um, as you might be able to hear, that shit is sizzling. It's going to be good. Um, and you just kind of want to let it cook for a while, you know? Like, uh, I don't know what the exact time is, and some people might, might want a different, uh, you know, maybe a little crispier than others. Mm. Good as wine. Uh, but, you know, you just kind of let it go. Holy shit, I made it real cheesy this time. That, that shit is running all over the place. I feel bad for whoever has to clean up this mess. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, uh, you just kind of sit back and let it hang. And then uh, after a while, you fucking take it out. And we'll jump ahead to that. Because you guys don't need to watch me drink this for too long. But I definitely need to drink it. All right. All right. Let's see what this bad boy looks like in there. Oh, that is some tight ass... Cheese everywhere. I think I kind of killed it with those uh, slices. But anyway, when it looks like that, you're pretty much good to go. You can uh, unplug it and fucking take those fuckers out. Now, once you got it out of there, you just want to cut it on down. You know, make it real good so you can uh, eat it super easy. <laughs> Voila. That didn't sound right. Viola. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Felt like the Joker for a minute there, trying to make this thing work. Kept going clicky, 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 clicky. All right, it finally worked. Anyway, the last thing you need to do with a toasty is have something to dip it in. Now, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Totally up to you. Some people like, maybe like barbecue sauce or some shit. People like, I don't know. I never got the whole like, uh, cheesy stuff dipped in like ranch dressing and stuff. To me, that's just kind of gross. It's like, too much of the same thing. But uh, what I like to do, I'll show you right here. Uh, we got fucking ketchup and sriracha. And those two things go great together. I'll show you. You just pour a little bit out on a plate there. Oh yeah, that's a good amount. And then uh, a little bit of the sriracha and uh, sriracha, however they say it. And then uh, you're good to go, buddy. Try it out. You and stupid fucking shit that you're the green. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm 
I'm a true to green, all right. Hey, we're back in this fucking kitchen. That's pretty fucking cool, all right. You know what? It's nighttime, as you can see behind me. And you know what that means? It's time for a midnight snack. We're going to make some fucking toasties, all right. It's Green's Kitchen.